Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I wanted to uh, explain to you guys why I got a rip kit. Uh, call it a snab rip kit because the company I got it from is snab. It's uh, RIP stands for Reverse Intercooler Piping, and it's reversed from how it was primarily used from uh, 94 to 2000 in these P80 cars primarily. Initially in 94 when Volvo introduced the T5 850, they came with this version of the RIP kit. Uh, immediately started having problems with freezing throttle bodies in extreme cold weather so they recalled it and went to the intercooler piping that you see here and they also put a hole in the bottom of the intercooler so that it could uh, get rid of condensation and oil out of that small hole they put in the bottom of the intercooler well around 2000 they figured out that they could go back to the uh, more proficient intercooler piping and thus they went to what we know as the RIP kit style intercooler piping. Uh, this piping is longer, probably about 30 or 40 percent, so it's more piping that has to be uh, pressurized from your turbo and that uh, adds to turbo lag. So putting a rip kit on will reduce that uh, piping pressurization and it, that's one of the benefits with it, reducing that intercooler piping length. Another thing you should know is that over the years this piping, the tubing, gets oil saturated, it gets old, and it gets weak. And we're having reports of them tearing that part of the coupling there this part getting soft and collapsing you see how soft that is if you hit watt with this car that tube collapse and it'll restrict airflow to the engine and cause the engine to bog down then you have this tube here it's getting old and soft and tearing some of them the layers of them are torn you get this pipe from here down to the bottom of the intercooler. This stuff is just getting old. So as part of a tune-up, you really should replace a turbo system tune-up. You really should replace this piping in here. And if you replace that piping and buy all those hoses new, you'll spend as much as you would for um, the snab style intercooler piping that I have over here on Queen Bee. A third benefit that you have with getting this style of rip kit or intercooler piping is the hoses that you have installed are extremely small as far as replaceable uh, serviceable hose pipe. You got this short hose here on top of the engine about four or five inches you got this short hose here going to the top of the intercooler about three or four inches. You got this short hose here going into the throttle body about two or three inches. Then you got the elbow down at the bottom of here going into the bottom of the intercooler. Well, on the snab kit, these pipes, the metal ones, uh, appear to be larger than the ones that Volvo initially made so they're already kind of preset for performance and uh, taking in more air so if you want to tune the car it's uh, easier to tune the car with this solid piping you don't have to worry about it collapsing you don't have to worry about it wearing out uh, you got this hose here uh, that goes to the idle air control valve that's a a, a direct fit and these other pipes or hoses rather are so short 
that th they may last 20 uh, last but not least with this uh, rip kit Queen B feels more responsive than it did because I no longer have as much piping to uh, pressurize with the turbo system like I said I'm pulling away about 30% uh, of the turbo piping that makes the car a little snappier a little more responsive to the throttle so there you have it it is a pretty common issue for this hose up here to collapse when people are cruising down the highway and they put their foot in it so that they can take off so let's see what this thing does here see that thing sucking in that hose is no good needs to be replaced bad situation that hose down there seems pretty soft too so let's uh go ahead and replace this for her here's all the piping of the original thing this is a hard tube this is a soft tube as you can see it's pretty soft it's starting to have some cracking and that thing right there corner of that tube if it comes in focus let me make sure the light's on yeah the light's on See that crack in there? It's the over the engine tube. This is the upper intercooler tube that was collapsing. As you can see, it had deteriorated from use over the years. The inner layer is torn up. Had a hole in the outer layer. Super soft. Here's the one that goes to the throttle body. It's starting to age. Cracking on it. It's pretty soft. This is the one that hit the bottom of the inner cooler it's still pretty firm but that's how many pieces is to the original piping and this is how many pieces that's going to go on to replace that so big difference switch to a rip kit if you can there you have it the system's been replaced that's the longest replaceable hose there the access bolts for the cover or accessible pull the cover chain the spark plug it's got some clearance on the throttle body cover got the shroud back in place so you're good to go if you got any questions go ahead and ask uh, check your turbo piping if that stuff needs to be serviced get a rip kit if you can uh, there's a link to where I got mine some people make their own and just buy the hoses and uh, get this stuff replaced so your car could be more serviceable. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.